look at that water baby you know what it says it is saying to me you should jump right in get your spear gun going go get some fish go get some food to eat for lunch and that's exactly what we're gonna do right now got my gear here all right see you guys in the water So this is my first dive of the day, usually on my first dive I'm just warming up. I just chose a nice spot to ambush the fish right here behind this rock so they can see me. I just got down, relaxed myself a little bit and see if I can find anything to shoot at. So I spotted a school of Moses perch but these guys were too small so I just let them alone. When I get down to the bottom, I don't immediately point my gun and look for fish. First I get down to the bottom and then I keep my eyes fixed on the sea floor and I put my gun away, like under my body or behind some rocks to make myself appear non-threatening to fish. After a while, when the fish get used to my presence, they will let down their guard a little bit and they will come to check what I am. So as you can see in the video here, the moment I lift my eyes from the sea floor, that fish start to come to look at me. They don't seem to care uh, because I was very non-threatening. I don't appear dangerous, so they are very relaxed around my presence. They're coming to check me out, see what's up. Uh, but unfortunately, again, these guys are too small, so I didn't want to shoot them. Maybe they will grow up in a year or two and I'll come back for them. Another different technique that I like to use is that I put my hand in front of my eyes so that I don't accidentally make eye contact with fish and spook them. <laughs> so here I'm just looking at fish through the cracks of my fingers, observing them and, uh, and trying to spot uh, a decent fish to shoot, but unfortunately I didn't find any this time. A good indicator you guys can uh, use to find fish is by looking at bait fish. The bait fish are these little guys here and they serve as food for the bigger predatory fish. So right now they look very chill, very relaxed, very confident. That means there most likely isn't any predator nearby. If there were a predatory fish nearby, these bait fish would behave very skittish, very shy. They would be very nervous and you can see in their movement. But right now they're very confident, so that's, that's why I know there isn't any big predator fish for me to shoot at. So now I guess you guys want to see the clip of my encounter with the barracuda on the thumbnail, so here it is, enjoy.
guys look at this bad boy holy shit oh and that was my last dive of the day so I was about to give up I just wanted to take one last dive and uh, as you saw in the video this bad boy came right here and I pulled the trigger hit him right here almost missed him too guys just one more centimeter up and I would have missed him oh, so excited now I'm on my way home uh, taking this bad boy here with me, you can see how big it is. Oh, what a beauty! Oh my, look how beautiful he is. Oh, and I'm gonna eat him. So I'm gonna leave the jungle, get home, take a shower, and I'll show you guys how to cook this bad boy up. See you in a bit. Oh. So first, I'm gonna take the scales off. Be easy. So here's the trick uh, that you can use to fillet the other side of the fish really easily that you start not from the head but from the tail and you make a cut like this and just follow spine like here I'll take some of this fish uh, off for my uh, pets yeah i got a cleaner crew right here guys Alright, so now we're gonna marinate this with salt and uh, pepper, olive oil, into the pan like this. Now we're gonna take the garlic out so it doesn't burn. This fish fillet is not fully cooked yet, what we want. What we want is this beautiful sear right here. And now we're gonna season it some more with smoked paprika. Chili flakes. Oh, 
ginger. Cumin powder. Now some more olive oil to hold all the spices together. Alright, now pop this bad boy into the oven. 180 degrees. 10 minutes. While the fish is cooking, we're gonna make the sauce. Lime. Some honey. Now some soy sauce. Now mix it up real good. Butter into a hot pan. All right, we're gonna add the sauce in. Just let it cook a little bit. We don't want to burn it. Take the fish out from the oven. Alright, last bite. I'm gonna leave the skin for my dog. So I just finished eating now. So that's the whole process. From sea to table, catch and cook at its purest, baby. <clears throat> I'll see you guys in the next adventures. Until then, take care. If you like this uh, video, then hit that subscribe button if you want to see more in the future. If you like this video, then leave a comment, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike button, whatever. Until the next videos, guys, take care. Bye-bye. Let's be savage together, baby.